Hey, how's it going? Would you say it's exemplary, superb, or just excellent? We are working on Dragula. This is episode 9, where things are starting to come together. The scratch built chassis, just about done. The coffin body, just about done. And we're going to show you some real goodies that we're going to add to the pot to just make it sweeter. Last episode, we created Grandpa Munster from the Primordial Ooze. Well, I'm actually talking about Sculpey 3, which is a lot like whipped cream in its consistency. Now, we should have used the Super Sculpey that I'm showing there, so keep it in mind when you go to work on these. In the last episode, I'm sure you were thinking to yourself, why does Grandpa not have any eyeballs? Well, maybe you didn't think it last week, but I'm sure you would this week. Well, that's because we're going to cover them up. Because in the episode Hot Rod Herman, Grandpa wore goggles during his drag race. We're going to put those into place. And we're also going to add his stogie. Yeah, he was smoking his cigar like any real man should. We're using styrene of about a half a millimeter thickness here because these need to be real flexible as we wrap them around his face. But you know, they wouldn't look quite right unless we put lenses into place. So here we go. Even at this scale, things like that really show up in the final design. <laughs> It's so, almost kind of funny looking here, isn't it? But he's going to look very period correct uh, for 1965. Now, the episode wasn't shot in color, of course, but I can just imagine that these goggles, the straps were probably leather. And we're going to assume that the lenses were dark because that's the way it looks in black and white. And this stogie, yeah, we're going to make that look like it's wrapped. And where should it go? But right here. We'll fill in this hole in the head with a really sweet looking smoke. And another way it's going to be period correct is this cigar is not filtered. Kind of like the conversation in the 1960s. Now you tell me, is this a perfect representation? Well, maybe not, but you know, kind of like in every episode of Scooby-Doo that had a celebrity. <laughs> Good enough. Between last episode and this episode, a lot of things have happened behind the scenes, but let's bring you up to date right now. We added this radiator that is in the original one-to-one -one prototype. A little bit of sanding is going to take this somewhere close to perfect, and when you sand it, you'll say, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty reasonable. White ABS, or styrene as it's better known, gets a little bit dirty when you're working on scratch-built projects. So I always try to spray a little bit of primer underneath to hide all of the sins that happened in the dark. During the last few episodes, I could almost hear people thinking, how in the world is he going to do those headers or those exhaust pipes? In the TV show, they were supposedly made from organ pipes. And we are going to make these organ pipes from brass. Now, as you know from our last episode, I really don't recommend doing any work without doing a sketch first because you can get things out of scale like we did with our figure. So let's go at it here by doing a sketch first. And I'm referring to several photographs that have been taken of prototype number three of Dragula. Those photographs are helpful because they show these pipes going well above the supercharger scoop. And they also are symmetrical. For some reason, this was lost on me until I made two right side pipes. <laughs> and I just had to re-solder what I had cut into a left side configuration. Yeah, I really had to recheck this. I had to look back and forth at the photographs to make sure, yeah, the pipes are actually longer toward the front and shorter toward the rear that I've marked here. After seeing the organ pipes both ways, I got to agree with George Barris. It actually looks better this way. Good job, George. Now, the next step took a little bit of thought. I was trying to figure out whether I should put these exhaust pipes on the chassis or on the body section. Well, I figured that we want only things that are really necessary to keeping this thing on the track and really performing well on the chassis. And all the other things that are just for looks, I'm going to try to put up in the body section. The pipes are made out of brass, but we're going to solder these things to a solid copper plate, and that should make soldering a little bit easier. I did a little bit of practice work. I tried to solder the pipes onto the plate first and then bend. Well, that was a problem because that weakened the solder joint. So I decided afterward just to bend each one of these pipes individually at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to set up a little fixture for the soldering. Now, the truth be told, this was kind of a tricky little thing to figure out, and I had to do it several times. I must have shot at least a, an hour of video that I'm not going to even show you today because I just had to figure out how to do this. Now, once you watch this video, I think we have a pretty good solution on how to do it. 
Once I got it all figured out, it only took a few minutes to do both of these together. But there were a lot of trial and error and a lot of failures. Yeah, I guess I'm one of those guys that gets a laser focus when they're doing a certain task. And I mean, phones can ring, buildings can burn down, meteors can hit. And I am still staring at my task, not even realizing this other stuff's going on. Well, that was kind of the laser focus I had on these things. You can see here that I'm using a razor saw. I got a new saw blade for this because when you're doing so many of these things, you really need to have something sharp. You can see these are very fine teeth. And that's really the only way to cut these because if you get the large teeth and those razor knives, oh man, you're going to have a really long day because it gets very difficult to pull. Here is one area where I'm going to vary from the George Barris recipe because I think he probably would have made reliefs for the mufflers if he had had the room to do it. And structurally, it would have broken the coffin that he was using. But uh, we can do it here, and I think you're going to agree with me. It looks better in the final result. So let's pull out this trusty porcelain pin board that I purchased from Amazon. Remember to look in the comments because I'm going to put all of the links to these parts that you need in the comments once we're done with this series. Here's a general idea for the fixture that we're building. So we make sure that all of these pipes are soldered and they're even and the solder joints are good. I'm using the pins to separate each one of these pipes. They're all going to be parallel to each other, which is great. Now I'm lining them up at the bottom on that little piece of copper in the bottom. You can see closely here. Everything is perfectly in line. And then I'm supporting all of these with pennies. Now let's go in. First of all, when you're using a blazer or any torch that runs on butane, it makes the part really hot. And that's the best way to solder these. Really get your parts hot first, and then you'll start putting the solder in without the flame by capillary action. Suck right up in between your parts. That's the perfect way to make an excellent joint. Now, although my video editing makes it look as though I just go directly to spraying water to cool down the part, I actually don't. I wait for that solder to set up and it's going to give a shiny appearance. At that point, I bring in the water. However, I don't think you want to sit there and watch it for 30 seconds while it solidifies. So bear that in mind when you go to make really good solder joints. Hey, look here. We got the dude smoking on the stogie, listening to the pipes. Nice. Now that we have both sets of pipes done for the right and left sides, let's work on that relief. And all I'm doing here is lining up the front section of the engine that pokes through the top of the coffin. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Then we will cut it back just to give you a sweet little relief. And it's going to look like it was designed that way. If everything goes as planned today, episode 10 will probably be the final episode of this Dragula build. We're going to take out the airbrush and start painting bronze, paint the figure, and then assemble everything. For some reason, it seems like the first and the last episodes are always the best of every project, so make sure you don't miss it. So what's your opinion here? Should we leave the exhaust pipes brass and just use a clear coat on them, or should I prime them up and then paint them uh, chrome silver? Let me know in the comments if you have an opinion. These little cast parts that are on each side of the front tube are actually just leftovers from this front end kit that I had. These twin parts have become the stanchions, which will hold the two lanterns at the front of the car. All right, take a rock and roll stance and let's see what we created today. Hey, not bad. All right, cut and print. Episode 9 is coming to a theater near you. Be sure to step up and be counted. Subscribe, it's free.